Sai Ram everyone. Today what we are seeing in the video is Shri Sailam. Shri Sailam is in Andhra Pradesh in Kurnool district. Shri Malikarjuna Swami temple is on the top of hill. Shri Sailam is about four and a half hours from Kurnool. Now before taking darshan of Shri Malikarjuna Swami temple, we take darshan of the Sakshi Ganpati temple first. We are at the Sakshi Ganpati temple which is actually on the way. Sakshi Ganpati is considered by some people as an avatar of Lord Vishnu. What Sakshi Ganpati does is to tell Malikarjuna Swami which devotees who come here are worthy of being granted mukti or moksha even before they reach Malikarjuna Swami temple at the top of the hill. Hence, he acts as a Sakshi or witness to Malikarjuna Swami. We should take darshan here at Sakshi Ganpati temple first before taking darshan at Malikarjuna Swami temple. Sakshi Ganpati sends a message to Lord Shiva about the nature of the devotees or bhaktas and whether they can be granted mukti or not. As he bears witness or Sakshi, he is called Sakshi Ganpati. So, after taking darshan of Sakshi Ganpati, we are now going to the darshan of Malikarjuna Swami temple. Sri Sailam is a very holy place. In fact, it has double significance. Actually, there is another third significance which we will come to later. It is second of the twelve Jyotirlingas. In addition, it is also a Shakti Pitha. The neck of Devi actually fell here. The different body parts of the Shakti Devi fell at 51 places known as Shakti Pithas. This is the first of the 18 Mahashakti Pithas and third of the 51 Shakti Pithas. The Linga here is Swayambhu Linga which means it appeared on its own. This is the second of 12 Jyotir Lingas. We can do an Abhisheka to the Linga ourselves and with our own hands here. Whatever we have, like bilva leaves or water or flowers or something else, we can touch the Linga and do the Abhisheka oneself. After worshipping the Linga, we can climb 30 steps and worship Shakti. The Devi is called Brahma Rambha and this is the place where the neck of the Devi fell. The temple is also called Sri Brahma Ramba Malikarjuna Temple. There is a third significance also. This is a Datta Chetra. If we go inside the temple, there is a fig tree or Adumbar Vriksha. Under the Adumbar Vriksha, there is a stone tablet which says that the second in Datta Parampara, who was Swami Narsimha Saraswati, sat under the tree and did dhyana. Several avatars in Datta Sampradaya have visited this place. In addition to Swami Narsim Saraswati, Shripad Shri Vallabha as well as Akkalkot Maharaj have also visited Sri Sailam. The final resting abode of Swami Narsim Saraswati is Kadali Vanam or Banana Grove and it is very very close to Sri Sailam. Not only that, Lord Ganesha married Siddhi and Riddhi here. Nandi is an important deity also in Shiva Sampradaya. One can get darshan of Lord Shiva only after getting permission from Nandi. In addition, Nandi is a vahan of Lord Shiva. Nandi obtained Lord Shiva's grace here after doing tapas. Nandi Bhagwan did tapas for several years here and got the grace of Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva gives Nandi two boons. The first one is that one can take darshan of Lord Shiva only after getting Nandi Bhagwan's permission. The other one was that the Lord Shiva accepted Nandi as his vahan. Nandi Bhagwan's younger brother Parvata Hill also known as Parvatan, it also got originated here only. And also Nandi Bhagwan attained Lord Shiva here. 
Kailasa is the abode of Lord Shiva where he lives with his family and Shiva Gunas. One who goes to Kailasa get Mukti. Sri Sailam is only next to Kailasa in significance and also gives Mukti. The Gopura over the Garbhagraha of the temple has Kailas in the form of Trishuls. The reason for this is that Lord Shiva rooted his Trishul and stood here. Two of the Nyanmars or Tamil saints, Appar and Sundarar, have sung hymns in praise of Lord Shiva here. All the other hymns of Nyanmars are about Lord Shiva temples in Tamil Nadu only. Adi Shankaracharya composed shlokas known as Shivananda Lohiri here. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj has visited here and stayed for 10 days. The Devi Dulja Bhavani gives darshan as Goddess Bhavani and gives him a sword. After getting the sword, Shivaji Maharaj was unconquered in battles. As a token of gratitude, he constructed the Gopuras in the north part of the temple. In addition, the mantap was built by Shivaji Maharaj. Also, Panch Pandavas have installed five lingas inside the temple as well as built the temple for the sixth linga. So the Panch Pandavas too have built six temples here. Sri Rama has also come here and has done Pratishtha of a Shivlinga here with his own hands. Hence, Sri Sailam has lots of significance. The hill itself is considered a form of Nandi Bhagwan who took the form of a hill to carry Lord Shiva. Pradosham is very important day here and anyone who worships Lord Shiva here will get Mukti. Anyone who gets the darshan of the hill and the temple gets Mukti. They also give laddus as prasad. Video is not permitted inside the temple, hence the narration is from outside only. Deepak also said that they stayed here for three days as the place is full of spiritual significance. We have also talked about Akka Mahadevi in one of the videos. Akka Mahadevi got deeply attached to Lord Shiva in the form of Malikarjuna Swami here at Sri Sailam. So this place is very very special and is actually next to Kailash our Shiva's abode. This is also an important Datta Chetra. There is a devotee of Swami Narsimha Saraswati. His entire family goes to Sri Sailam for darshan. He does not go as he does not want to leave Swami Narsimha Saraswati. Swami asks him to close his eyes and when he opens them, he realizes that he is at Sri Sailam. He sees Lord Malikarjuna Swami at Sri Sailam and Swami Narsimha Saraswati is sitting on the head of Malikarjuna Swami. This incident is presented in great detail in Guru Charitra. The Golden Gopura is the Gopura of Devi Temple over the Garbhagraha. This is where the neck of the Devi fell. This is a very important Datta Chetra. Baba is the fifth avatar of Datta Parampara. Deepak says that he is interested in visiting all the Jyotir Lingas as well as Shakti Pithas. Sri Sailam is a Datta Pitha as well as Jyotir Linga Shetra and is also a Shakti Pitha. So this is a very very sacred place to visit. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Om Sai Ram.